Good morning. Here's one of the most famous promises in the Bible. Jesus is teaching on prayer and he says in Luke chapter 11, So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be opened. What a fantastic promise. Ask, seek and knock and you will be satisfied according to Jesus' promise. Ask. We need to be good at asking every single day. Sometimes because of pride or self-sufficiency, we don't ask enough. We need to be like little children. Children are really good askers. <coughs> when it comes to Christmas time, our kids were always asking for this and asking for that and asking again just in case we'd forgot and asking again just to make sure we'd remember and you know we need to be like that with our father in heaven we need to ask and keep asking in full faith that we'll receive we need to ask and then when we receive thank him and that should encourage us to keep asking how many prayers have you had that have been answered I've had so many I couldn't count them, but I need to keep asking for provision, for help, for strength, for health, for power, for the Holy Spirit, for blessing, for everything. We ask and we receive for parking spaces, for bargains, for miracles, for friends. When we ask, we receive. Jesus said, listen, Everyone who asks, receives. In James it says, some of you don't have because you don't ask. We just don't pray. He doesn't say spend hours and hours on your knees. Just ask. I want to encourage you today to ask your Father in heaven. Before you start sweating and striving and doing it in your own energy, ask and receive it also says seek and you shall find there are different kinds of uh, seeking there's the seeking when you're looking for something that isn't really very important you would you wouldn't mind finding it and yeah it must be in the loft somewhere and yeah we must get round to seeking that and there's a different kind of seeking you've lost the car keys and the kids need to get to school on time Hunt the house, find them, find them now. There's a desperation and a, and a deliberate, total focus on seeking. That's the type of seeking that we need when it comes to spiritual blessings and help from God. We need to seek knowing that we're going to find. Not seeking something that might exist. Oh yeah, God might help me, God might answer. No, we seek because we know it's findable. We seek because it's just there for the seeking. And um, Jesus says again, he who seeks finds. Not he who seeks goes on seeking all his life. Not he who seeks is disappointed. But he who seeks in a determined way, in a focused and a passionate way, will find. What are you seeking today? What would you seek from God? What do you seek for your life or for your children or for yourself? Seek it from the Lord. Seek it in prayer. Seek it from him. You will find. Seek more of his kingdom. Seek his righteousness. And everything else will be given you as well, Jesus said. And it also says, knock and the door will be opened to you. For to him who knocks, the door will be opened opened this is almost progression isn't it ask and you receive then there's something a little bit harder seek and you will find and then there's something a little bit harder here's a blockage asking is quite easy seeking it's a little bit more intense you don't have it so you go get it now here we have another step now there's a resistance there's some blockage there's it's not available. It doesn't seem available to you. There's a locked door. Jesus says, just keep 
right on praying, just keep right on asking and seeking. If you come to a blockage, if the answer seems to be the opposite from what you expect, if it looks as though it's not going to happen, keep praying. Knock and the door will be open to you. Don't give up. Knock at that door. When we were kids, we sometimes used to, you know, knock on people's doors and run away. Uh, or sometimes, you know, have you ever been to someone's house and you sort of hope they're not in? <laughs> and you give a little knock and, oh, well, he's not in, let's go. It's not that kind of knocking. There's a determined knocking where you know somebody's inside. You know, you've forgotten your key and you know one of the kids is inside, but they're listening to something. You're just going to keep knocking louder and louder. You ain't going anywhere because you know that door's going to open. That is the kind of prayer that Jesus invites us into today. Brothers and sisters, ask. And according to Jesus, you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door, it will open to you and you'll be able to go in. You'll be able to go through into the new area in your life that you're longing for. All through prayer. Let's do it now. Father, we thank you that we can come to you right now this morning and ask you for many things that we need. Lord, we thank you that when we seek what we don't have, we find it. We thank you for your great promise, Jesus, that when we come and knock at the door, the Father will answer the door. He will come. He will answer the door. And you said Jesus will be given whatever we need because of our continual prayer. Lord, we ask you to help us today to believe these simple truths and do them and receive the blessings that come from being praying people. In Jesus' name, help us. Amen.